everybody, it's Gail from thehappystamper.com. Happy Saturday. I hope you all are having a wonderful day doing whatever it is you enjoy doing. I'm in my craft room creating and playing with a really fun stamp set. I know there's lots of ideas out there on Pinterest and YouTube, but I thought I would share with you one of my cards for my upcoming free kit with purchase for the month of October. So uh, it, you, it, it's not going to be sent out this month. It will be sent out starting in two weeks and it's for October. I have a, two videos on um, my channel right now that show you two out of the three that are for September. If you have any questions, leave a comment, message me. I'll get back to you right away. And please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that red button, and make sure you subscribe to my blog as well. And if you aren't aware, I have a Facebook page. So just look for the Happy Stamper, the Happy Stamper, and you will find my little Gail. So let's get down to this, shall we? All right, this is the bundle cookie cutter. This is Halloween. Love this set. Super cute and even better, it comes with the matching punch. Love that. So that's what I've used for this project today. And if you want to duplicate this project, Next month in October, those are that's the bundle you'll need. And again, I'll have a link uh, to my online store and I'll have the product number for the bundle in the description box here. I'm also using Sweet Seasons. And this is a really sweet set to have in your repertoire because it covers everything. And one of the things I did was the Happy Merry Everything, Happy Always. I cut mine in two so I can just use Merry Everything, Happy Always separately or put it back together and use it all as one. So don't be afraid to cut your stamps apart. I'm also using the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and that's what I am using. So let me show you the cute card for today. I hope you like bling because if you do, then this is for you. Isn't he just the cutest little Drackey ever? I love him. He's just a cute one. Nothing scary about this guy. Uh, and so I've added some sequins and our rhinestones and uh, purple and orange. I added those. You're not going to be able to tell, but his little uh, necklace I colored purple. And his vest, of course, is red. And then this background paper I stamped with the bat that comes in the stamp set. So if you don't have the latest you know, designer series paper, you can always make your own. So don't worry. If you've got ink, you're good to go. And this I just used black. So let me show you how quickly this is going to go together. All right, so I'm using our Tangelo Twist. This is our, I've done a, a, some prep work. So I've already stamped my little Dracula. And I've done the inside of the card. Ooh, I forgot to show you that. I did the inside with the stamp set Vampires, Witches, and Ghosts. Oh my! And I did the um, little bats in there. Okay, so I've already attached this to the inside of my card. This is going to be a thank you card for my upline because she is so nice. Her name is Janice Waitman. I'd love for you to join my team and then be a part of her team. Oh my gosh. You know, if you, we have get togethers and I'm so sad because I missed it today. Um, you get a prize like you know, people pick like their favorite card or whatever. And um, I didn't win favorite card, but I won second place. And so she gives you just free, you know, go pick a $15 stamp set. Or if you get first prize, $25. Or you can order anything from the catalog, whatever you want. So I think that's just really nice of her. All right, back to my video. I'm all over the place. I've got, this is a... Four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. It's a piece of eight and a half by eleven cardstock, cut directly in half at five and a half, and then you just simply 
fold it over like so. So I go in a quarter of an inch. So my black layer is five and a quarter by four. And then I have a piece of Whisper White that measures three and three quarters by uh, three and three quarters by five. Sorry, lost my train of thought there. This is the piece that I stamped the bats on to make my decorative piece of paper. And I have a little boo-boo here, but that's okay because I've already gone ahead and done this side. So there's two sides to every paper. So let's go ahead, put this guy together, and I will show you how easy it is. And you can make your own customized background paper. I have to say, I forgot to get the um, Halloween paper, and I'm so bummed, but I will be doing that shortly, so never fear. But if you're like me and you get a little excited and order a bunch of other things that you really like and then you forget one, ah, it happens to the best of us. All right, so that's our card base, easy peasy. And again, this is going to be one of the cards from my October free kit. Um, you're also going to get a scallop circle and this is really nice. I love using our new thinlets that have such, there's so many sizes. And then you're going to get the beautiful glitter paper. This is so pretty, so pretty. And I can't wait to use it on Thanksgiving projects as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and you're not going to be able to see this because it's on the black background but there you go okay so I just adhered that to the front of my card I am just going to go ahead and adhere this to my card front and I did make a little boo-boo so that'll cover up most of it and then watch how easy this is to cut this out I mean no more fussy cutting for us no more and I was thinking about doing um, a little bow tie in red for my guy like so because it cuts it out cute but I thought it clashed a little bit with the orange since he had a red um, vest on so that will have to just be saved for another project. So I'm just going to come in here with our Stampin' Right marker and I'm going to just color his little wrist thingies, that little thingy, his little collar, and his vest because I think Dracula wears a red vest if I remember correctly. He's so cute. Okay, and I'm just going to grab a purple and just color his little necklace in. It's going to look black on here, but it's purple, I promise. Okay, now I'm going to reach for a piece of foam tape. I'm not going to use my pop dots. Of course you could, but here's what I'm going to do. I am going to adhere a piece of foam tape to the back of my die. I'm going to peel up the little plastic part. And then I'm going to come in with my, um, I had two bottles. Now what did I do with it? My desk is a mess. Let's hope this bottle will work. This is our fine line glue, and I, I like to use this especially, yep, it came out. Um, I just make sure to wipe it off really well and then get that little pin back in there. And I can't really see what I'm doing here around the tripod. There, close it up real well. Okay, so I have applied just a few little dots and that will hold your little dracky to the front of your card. And that way you can have him popped up. Now he's really cute like that, plain and simple. 
And in your kit, you'll also get the rhinestones, or not rhinestones. Well, yeah, you'll get your rhinestones, but you're also going to get some little sequins. So let's adhere a few of these. And I think he's darling just like that. I really, really do. But you'll get a few orange and purple sequins, and then you'll get a few rhinestones as well. Because you got to have just a little scattering of sparkles. Although this orange is wonderful. Wonderful. And I love purple with orange and black. I think it's so pretty. Super pretty. Okay. And I'm applying these with my glue dot. So they're not going anywhere and it's very easy to adhere them. And I just want a little bitty sprinkle. Like so. Okay. And then I'm going to come in with just a couple of rhinestones to add to the prettiness here. And it's super easy peasy, you guys. That is all it takes to make a fun, sweet, festive card for friends and family. I love it. Super cute. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. So there you have it, guys. That is a fun little Dracula card for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. It really is just that easy to put this together with, with the right tools. So head on over to my online store. Check everything out if you don't have some of these goodies already. But also, if you're interested in this kit for October, um, that's when it will be available. I do have another really cute one available right now in September, so no worries. And that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and thanks so much for stopping and visiting with me today. I appreciate it. Big hugs. Bye.